living by the truth that all rules of this universe are my rules and with the blessings of the divine i'm here to take this story series forward with all the love i have for spreading knowledge let me get started a father missing enthusiasm in his child lack of happiness not being excited thought over for a pretty long time and decided to put his son with one of his old relative who is very poor imagining that if he is spending at least one week to 10 days time with that poor family he will understand how blessed he is how fortunate he is being born in a rich family so with this pride in his heart he took the child and dropped in their house and said i'll meet you after one week then you will be learning the best lessons of life you will realize how fortunate it is to be born in a rich family the child said let me see he went on he played he jumped he played in the mud he climbed mountains he climbed trees he swam in rivers lakes pools he enjoyed the fresh breeze he smelled flowers he experienced the beauty of the sky he slept under the sky with twinkling stars he saw the birds flying he danced with the music of the birds he celebrated everything what he could that one week and that was the most memorable time for him one week passed in a jiffy it was like a wink of an eye for him after one week father with a lot of expectation within himself reached the place wanted to pick up his son thinking that he must be excitedly waiting to rush to his home because he must have undergone a lot of challenges lot of pressures all this week but the child was not at all interested to come from that village the father was shocked but still he motivated the child and brought him into his car and they both started traveling on the way the father asked him hope this must have taught you lot of lessons you must have realized how blessed we are being rich and how cursed it is being poor the child looked at the father with an expression that how silly you are what are you saying that in this one week's life i realized how poor we are and how rich they are the father got shocked he said what we are poor and they are rich the son smiled and said absolutely we are absolutely poor dad but they are the richest father with a bit of anger and a serious look said how can you explain it the son smiled and said dad we just have a dog at home to take care of us but they have plenty of dogs sheep cows buffaloes cats squirrels birds pigeons parrots almost all the pet animals moving around them with a lot of pride we just have a swimming pool to swim but they have rivers lakes wells and ponds to celebrate the joy of nature and swim to our best hearts content we just buy food from the stores packed freezed not at all fresh but they celebrate 
the freshness of milk the freshness of fruits vegetables nature breeze everything we have walls to protect us rooms to stay in doors and locks to keep us safe but they have relations they have neighbors they have lovely people around them to take care of each other we constantly live in the fear of losing something or the other that we are not free we are always living with the fear constant fear within us that we are going to lose something or the other but they have nothing to lose that so they are free they are happy always they are celebrating every moment of their life for us entertainment comes from the pictures that hang on the walls the television sets the mobile the gadgets lifeless that there is no life in it artificial content but there we celebrate true nature mountains trees farms fields nature cool breeze flying birds celebrating sky rain clouds rainbows it's a fantastic life that full of life full of life and they have lot of work to do from morning to night and they are occupied totally their mind is occupied so they don't have time to talk about people they just work 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 all the day and celebrate the joy of three greatest gifts that the mankind is blessed with hunger which makes their food very tasty lot of sleep and happiness but we people as we don't have work we spend most of our time criticizing people criticizing circumstances criticizing situations and even criticizing god for all the mishaps that are happening and we are creating a lot of confusion that just understand this whenever we talk about people we always discriminate we always distinguish and that creates all the trouble wherein hatred penetrates there understand this that the greatest things what a man must be blessed with is hunger sleep and happiness they have it always but we struggle to get them that if you can just check on okay the nature the good diet the fresh food the fresh milk takes care of their health the relations but doctors hospitals medicines medical treatments take care of our health are we really rich that they have closed rooms but they stay together they have normal food but they eat together they sleep happily under the sky with bright twinkling stars and the beautiful moon we just can't stay together we are lonely we spend all our time in rooms and we have tube lights artificial content but the true celebration is there that the father started thinking the father started slowly realizing am i really missing all this in life is it really true that we are really poor and they are rich this and continued we always live for prestige values pride image status and we fight we argue we do lot of nonsense 
for all this with daily with constant love compassion kindness for each other for them relations give them happiness relations give them health relations keep their mind active dad they are really rich dad you're not able to understand this see for us we always lean with the constant desire to make more money to make more money to make more money increase our wealth buy more gadgets buy bigger things costlier things but they don't have these desires dad they live with the pride that they are producing food for everyone they are producing clothes they are producing chapels pots every requirement that all the rich people celebrate they are producing it they are fulfilling the hunger of all these rich people they constantly work from morning to night to make the life of the rich people blessed that just tell me who are rich who are poor the dad stop this car came out of it asked his son to get down hugged him and said there was some constant worry within me which was really hunting all the day that i was missing something you made me realize it i can't wait for even a second more let's go back to that place and spend as much time as we can and then we can go to our place i don't want to miss this life he hugged his son and just they started driving back and went to that village and they enjoyed their life to their heart's content days passed weeks passed the later made a decision to go on work with the statistics and come back to the villages move with people live in compassion live in love constantly whenever they were free and started spending lot of time in nature realizing the real celebration within them realizing the real glory within them they realized that expression of love expression of compassion expression of kindness is experiencing love and dad consistently thanked his son for making him realize what he lost in life understand this friends success is not we growing success is everyone growing along with us if we think it is we growing we are diseased in the mind understand this and we should never be happy by thinking that we have something what others don't have that is senseless our happiness must be with the happiness of others remember this friends humanity is this when we smile with the smile of others and when we cry with the suffering of others that's true humanity be a human being because we can never achieve anything great or experience the true greatness of life without becoming a human being become a human being celebrate the love in you thank you so much for all your encouragement thanks a lot every day in every way life is getting better and better don't miss to be a part of venuskal training academy as you can't miss life